Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nee here, and yes, I'm doing this video today standing up. Why is that? That is because I don't know about you guys, but like this year has been a very introspective year for me. So I have been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of researching, just a lot of discovering who I am. And a part of this journey of mine is to become a little bit more feminine, you know, just get more in touch with my lady side. And I understand that this differs for every woman, every person. So do what you want. But as for me, as for me and my life, I'm gonna do what I need to do, okay? So I feel as if I can tap more into my feminine side. Um, growing up, I was a tomboy. And also, I feel like growing up, I didn't really have, like, I didn't really get advice from my mom or like, I didn't have, well, I do have an older sister, but she's only two years older than me. Anyone to really give me advice on just how to be more feminine and like, just how to just get in tune with that. It's not to say that my mom isn't feminine or, you know, other women in my life aren't. It's just that no one really taught me like, hey, this is what you can do. You know, wear perfume, do this. You know, like, I just, it wasn't like that. And maybe a lot of my Nigerian sisters or my African sisters can kind of relate to this. Now, don't get me wrong, Nigerian women are very feminine, but it's just, there's degrees to this, there's levels to this. As you can see by today's title, I recently watched a video called 10 Ways to Dress More Feminine. Now, I feel like I got some lady pieces in my closet. I feel like I have some feminine pieces, but like, how cool would it be to see how much I really have in my closet and how I can really dress it up? I didn't know, aside from like heels, a bag, and a dress, I didn't really know there's more levels to the feminine like energy and like the feminine way to dress. So on today's video, we're gonna find out how great I do, how well we can piece together some of these feminine looks and yeah. So if you want to see how I do that, keep on watching. But before we get into that, I need you to do something for me, darling. It is free, okay? I say it all the time, okay? If you if, if you are still coming back to my video or if you are coming to my video for the first time, hi again, I'm me. Um, subscribe, please. Please, I, I need it. It's what keeps the lights on. It, it's what keeps you guys engaged. It's like what keeps me going. So I'm gonna give you guys a second to subscribe. Very well then. <laughs> now that you've done that, Let's get started. This is not the first outfit, relax, sis. Okay, but number one on the list was to wear dainty jewelry. So this piece, I love a lot, and you guys seem to love a lot too um, on my Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, go do that because I put up a lot of beauty, lifestyle, comedic related content that if you like my channel, then chances are you'll really like what you see on my Instagram as well. Um, this piece is from Ayanka's Accessories on Instagram. Don't worry, girl, I will link everything in the comments on today's look, on today's outfits. Website is also ianklesjewels.com. And this is an initial piece. Now, when I tell you I get so many compliments on this piece, like I get so many compliments on this piece. I, I do like name necklaces, so um, generally I don't think dainty jewelry is a problem for me. Now, don't get me wrong, I still love my costume jewelry. Everyone understands that it is okay to be you, and if you don't like dressing feminine, then don't do that. And then I also feel like you can kind of create your own version of feminine because generally I don't think I'm gonna like follow everything through and through. I'm not gonna like dress like a lady every day. Sometimes I like my streetwear. This necklace I think is a good example of dainty jewelry. I also put some pearls in. Pearls are a nice essential statement. It's like classy, it does just what it needs to do. And it's cute. Check for the dainty jewelry part. I passed. The next to wear a dress. She recommended nudes, pinks, baby blues, lavenders, things of that sort. So I'm getting some like soft neutral colors. Don't you guys think so? I think it's really cute. Again, all the details of my outfit will be in the description box or actually it might be on my Instagram story highlights. I think I'm gonna put it there. So yeah, everything that you need to know about these pieces will be on my Instagram story highlights in the style section. Heels, Avi. I mean, I just said that in the beginning. Like obviously one of the ways you can dress more feminine is to wear heels. Like it's just, non-negotiable like we just know that's what it is i don't know what type of like shoes these are but like i guess they're like strappy heels number four is a v-neck or an off the shoulder top i mean it's yellow it's beautiful it's it's not too bright but it's like you know it's like colorful yeah i love it so um that part is check that wasn't too hard. I actually really do love off the shoulder top pieces and it just works. Part of number four was highlight. I usually would put like a, a body shimmer or like a, a oil, whether it's um, coconut oil or um, just any other type of oil. 
and I would put that on and then I would highlight, but we're just gonna highlight a little bit on camera. Okay, with my highlighting palette. Do you see that glow? You see it? Get into it. <laughs> I'm just using a highlight palette from BH Cosmetics. And that is the glow. Number five is solid colors, prints, lace, anything of that sort. So as you can see, I'm wearing prints. I chose to go with prints. This is actually one of my favorite tops as well. I've never actually worn it out yet, so I really need to. But in any case, as you can see, there's like a flowery uh, print here. It's a really cute color. It's still within that nude category, not that we necessarily need to follow the same uh, nude color or neutral color that was mentioned earlier in this video, but I like her. She's cute, it's a nice simple wrap top. Please excuse the fact that I'm wearing the same pants from the last outfit, okay? Excuse that fact. Number six is eyebrows last to make sure that you're groomed. So clearly we have a problem here. This nail literally just popped off yesterday. Unfortunately, RIP to that nail. Um, <laughs> but I also did just get my eyebrows done yesterday because she called me out. Okay, check this video out. According to the feminine rules, eyebrows need to be groomed. So that is what I'm going to do. Let me know in the comments whether you prefer to wax your eyebrows or thread. I prefer threading. I feel like it just gives more of a defined shape. So uh, I'm just gonna go and get my eyebrows done real quick. Why she had to be so loud for? Like, I do generally like to get my eyebrows done very, very, like, often enough when I feel like it needs to be cleaned up a bit. So I prefer threading. Let me know in the comments which one you guys prefer, threading or waxing. I think threading is just better. I feel like it gives you more of a defined shape. That's just my opinion though. And then lash, you know, obviously I'm wearing lashes today. I literally can never do a full beat without lashes. I'm sorry, I feel naked without lashes. I don't know how people do it. I feel like it works for some people's faces, but it doesn't work for mine. I need a lash. Number seven, she's talking about lips. Now this, I don't think is gonna be a problem for me. So she mentioned that you should wear nudes, uh, red, so not like the yellow lipstick, not the black lipstick, not like the bright purple lipstick, you know. Um, again, ladies, all of this is at your discretion. Do what you want and do what makes you feel good. I'm just kind of following a little, following what she said. So generally, I am a nude lip gloss type of girl, so I like to wear nudes. Um, literally, I'm wearing like three different lipsticks within this nude and a gloss on top, even though I feel like it's kind of come off a little bit. But yeah, I'm a nude girl, so that's never a problem for me. Number eight, drop your cheap fashion over bag and upgrade to a designer bag. The volume on this bus is astronomical. The volume on this bus is astronomical, okay? First of all, sis, okay? You had me at number one, two, three, four, but when we got here, drop the fashion over bag. You got designer bag money, sis? Do you got it? Cause I don't, I don't. And you know what? This bag is not from Fashion Nova. It is actually from AliExpress and it's really cute and you can't tell me nothing, sis. Nothing, okay? <laughs> Listen, eventually I will have a designer bag, but I don't really feel the need right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like pressured to get one. I do love a good designer bag. I mean, listen, to all the girls who have one, shout out to you. I just rather spend my money on other things like buying 50 different bags with using the same amount of money that you used to buy one designer for right now. I'm just saying. So um, this bag is actually from AliExpress. I'm thinking about doing an AliExpress bag haul because I recently got some cute bags from there. Let me know if you guys would wanna see it. Let me know in the comments. Like, no, literally let me know, guys, because I really might shoot it, like, next week. Anyway, um, this was really loud. Um, nobody got designer bag money. Thank you. Number nine is undergarment shapewear. Anything that just kind of flatters your shape even more or accentuates it more, she said, to wear it. So I am not wearing shapewear currently because I really want to show you guys um, the before and after of what it would look like. So this is me without shapewear. Now, this... As of recently, like as of recent as like, I don't know, like a week or two weeks ago, I was like shooting one day and I was like, oh, let me keep my, my waist trainer on because the waist is snatched, honey. Like the waist was really snatched. Let me show you guys a picture. In this picture, you may or may not be able to even see the fact that I'm wearing a waist trainer, but like this waist trainer is actually, but that's only because the top was kind of like a crop top. So it showed a little bit of skin. So that's why I wasn't able to hide it. And my high-waisted pants weren't, high enough for it to kind of just stay in place. But generally, this waist trainer is pretty like seamless. Like you actually can't really see it under clothing and I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Watch this. This is me with the waist trainer on. Look at how snatched I look. Like I noticed that it really does 
cinch my waist in more and it, it brings out my hips a lot more which i think is like really cool and like cute and like sexy so i guess this is what she means by like um just kind of like finding shapewear or anything that you feel accentuates your your body and what complements it like what really shapes it um and again like i said girl do you wear what you want to wear dress how you want to dress you don't need to wear a waist trainer it's really all subjective it's really up to you but um yeah and as you can see here you can't even detect that i'm wearing a waist trainer at all now also keep in mind this dress has like a little has like a little fold here so it makes me look like i have like a roll when i really don't it just pulls everything in pull everything together i like it okay and finally the last one let me go change number 10 is loungewear slash sleepwear that you can wear around the house that is actually cute things that just just to make you kind of feel good around the house make you feel cute because i don't know about you guys but a lot of times when i'm home i just throw on my oversized bonnet a big t-shirt and some shorts and call it a day and sometimes i want to feel kind of cute around the house you know what i mean like let me just be kind of cute, especially since we're still kind of quarantined like a little bit you might as well kind of dress it up a little bit so this is a matching two-piece set and i'm trying to tippy toe and these are shorts matching shorts with it and it's a really simple outfit i think it's very comfy very comfortable very soft and i like it so ladies and gentlemen we have reached the end of this video i showed you guys 10 ways to dress more feminine this was in reaction to a video i found on youtube that i will be sure to link in my description box i think this girl does a whole series on just like femininity how to look feminine uh how to see yourself as feminine just different way it, she really breaks down femininity um so i think you guys should definitely check out her channel um and yeah so <laughs> i really have nothing else to say but oh my god i'm just gonna really just chill in this all day today like this is such a cute outfit in any case i'll see you guys in my next video i hope that you really enjoyed this please feel free to comment down if you want to see me do more videos like this do more femininity reactions or things of that sort or just more hauls or style videos um, when I'm not on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok. Apparently Reels is now a thing on Instagram, so I'm making Reels content as well. If you think I'm kind of funny or if you want a good laugh, I also have a comedy page at Nice Corner. Um, and then also talk to me on Twitter. Like if you really want to get in direct contact with me, feel free to like tweet me or whatever because like I'm more responsive on there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm me again. And also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, damn it. Okay, it's very simple. It's free. You don't, you don't, you don't lose any money. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video.